Welcome back, my fellow assassins, to another WWE 2K16 Universe Mode episode. We are here with NXT. And before you guys say anything, yes, this this episode has taken a hell of a long time to come out. Now I apologize for that. My computer has been acting up. My solid state drive has been giving me troubles, but I found a way around it. And I'm going to get you guys this NXT episode right here, right now. We're starting with the number one contenders women's championship tournament and uh right now we have the quarterfinals going on still the quarterfinals as Eva marie will take on this woman paige and here she comes Eva marie uh looking quite quite good against the the women's champion a few weeks back and paige is looking for that one win she hasn't uh, she hasn't got the wins that she's uh, she wanted in recent times. Of course, facing Sasha Banks at NXT Revel and cannot get the job done. But for right here and right now, she'll look to get a big win. So, quarterfinals going on. This tournament tournament is going hot and heavy as uh, another ma another quarterfinal match is happening here tonight. As Aaliyah, the firecracker that just opened the eyes of the NXT in the WWE Universe uh, is going to face Brie Bell here tonight so that will be an exciting one as well but here we go, the match has started Paige and Eva Marie going at it of course tonight also is the big main event it's going to be an NXT Championship rematch from NXT Arrival it's going to be Kevin Owens uh, defending his championship, his his newly won championship against, again, Hideo Itami. So that's going to be the main event here tonight. But uh, let's get to this match. Oh! And Paige just kicking Eva Marie right in the face. And like I said before, Paige just needs that one win. I don't think she's gotten a single win. I may, you know, you know, you, you guys know my memory when it comes to WWE Universe. I, but I don't think Paige has won a match. Uh coming into this match right now I think uh oh wait maybe oh yeah of course that's the whole reason Sasha Banks and Paige actually feuded is because Paige got a win over Sasha Banks in her debut and that led to the match at NXT arrival after Sasha Banks attacked Paige from behind no now Paige is working over the legs of Eva Marie so excuse my dumb memory here as Paige did actually get a win I think it was um, four weeks back. I think that's right. And oh, very nice Northern Lights suplex by Paige. And what a what a road would be for Paige to uh, you know it, if you go back to February, where uh, Brie Bella was looking for a rematch for the Divas Championship against then champion Emma, it would be Brie Bella and Nikki Bella, while they're still kind of best friends, going after Paige, and that would be their their tool to getting a rematch for the Divas Championship. So what a road it would be if Paige could win the whole thing and go on to face Nikki Bella as uh, uh, for the Women's Championship at our next NXT Mega Event. No! Even Marie was going for a suplex, but Paige reversed it into her own suplex. And now Paige into the ropes goes even no. Eva taking advantage now. <laughs> Takes her over. Big drop kick and down goes Paige. And the match has spilled to the outside. And again, guys, welcome again. I'm deeply, deeply sorry for this uh, show coming out so late. I never intended it. I actually had this episode recorded, I think, what was it, like probably a week and a half ago now. And uh, things just wasn't going my way. So uh, hopefully uh, this uh, this uh, works good, and uh, hopefully I can get to these episodes faster to you guys. I know I keep promising you promising you that, but things keep keep getting in my way. It's not fun, but um, finally I have uh, this going right now. So uh, oh, let's get back to this match. So let's have me stop rambling. And get back to this match. As Paige is now working over even Marie as both women get back into the ring. And of course, Nikki Bella always doing her homework. She's probably in the back doing her homework on both of these women. 
even if one doesn't win here tonight, it's very, very good to keep tabs on all of the women here in NXT. There's no Eva. Get an Irish whip. Page off the ropes. Oh, looking for a big boot. But sidesteps Page does. And look at this. Oh, God. A backdrop driver. Almost a Saito suplex. And uh, even Marie. Like I said, very, very impressive against the, the women's champion a few weeks back. Taking her to the limit. But it would be Nick, Nikki Bella getting the win. And uh, Nikki Bella has been unstoppable as women's champion. As, uh, what is this? Oh, look at this. Eva. Oh, man. Over a tornado DDT, but changed it into a guillotine. Very nice by Eva Marie. And look at this. Oh. And now Paige. Not letting that distract her as Paige gets back to her feet. Oh, here we go. Paige got her for the Paige Turner. And now going for a cover. One, two, and no. Eva Marie count or counting out. Kicking out at two. And now Paige going back on the attack here. What is this now? Paige. Now going to throw out Eva Marie. Eva Marie spills to the outside and oh, wait a minute. Paige is sizing up Eva Marie. She's got her target locked. Off the ropes and a suicide dive. To the outside and Eva, Eva crashes into the barricade at ringside. No, Paige is going to look to take advantage. Now just those pummeling strikes. And, oh, now a crucifix. And Paige, now, oh, look at this. A variation of the camel clutch, just a, a knee to the back. More of a chin lock than the camel clutch. Now, even it's back to her feet and throws Paige into, into the ring. Would you think that even Reed now has the advantage after that suicide dive? I certainly didn't think that, but certainly that's what's happening here. As, oh, look at this. And, oh, man. That's a variation of the flatliner, but it takes down Paige, and this could be it. Cover. One, two, and no. Paige kicking out. I thought that was it. For lack of a better uh, pun there, Paige was absolutely flattened by that flatliner. And, oh, now Eva just working over Paige as she doesn't want her to get up. She wants to keep Paige grounded, working her own pace. And now look at this. Oh, senton. Just over the midsection. And now, oh, look at this. Just cranking the neck. Eva is in full control here. Oh, I guess partial control as Paige now gets up. Gonna go to the corner now. And Paige. How is she how is she still functioning after that, that flat liner? But Paige, what is this? Oh, gets kicked out of the way. Now punch. Oh. And, oh man, what a body splash by Eva Marie. This could be it. Off the splash. Two. And no. Eva Marie. Both of these women go right after each other. Very good match between these two. And it's all about getting a, sh getting a shot at the women's championship. And they want to they they represent the brand and very, very, uh, Hard way to get there. I don't know. I was. I don't know what kind of sentence I was going for there, but I messed up and I tried to find my way. It didn't happen. But uh, hopefully you guys. Oh wait a minute, Paige. And, oh, what a drop kick by Eva. And now Eva Marie. I'm just kicking Paige right in the face, but Paige seems unaffected by it apparently. Now Eva goes. Oh. Sends Paige right into the corner. And now... Oh, man. Right into the steel ring post. And Paige's shoulder has to be hurting. Oh, man. And even Marie is not uh, unrelently... Oh, my God. Relentless on the attack. I can't speak today. And now covered by Eva. One. Two. And no. Paige kicking out a two. And now Eva, both men, bo both men, both women back to the feet. Now out goes Eva. Now Paige following right after her.
Now Page, oh, kick to the midsection. And look at this. Oh man, a Russian leg sweep on the outside. And that actually might have hurt Eva as uh, as equally as it did uh, Paige there. Very unrelenting on the floor. Oh, an elbow right to the chin again, right to the face. She did that earlier in the match. She does it a second time. And now, oh, what an arm drag by Paige. But Eva, look at this. An armbar takedown. Now Eva trying to get the sweat off her face. Now going for another Russian leg sweep. And that, that hurts Paige even more. And Paige, she looks to be losing control of this matchup here. And, oh man, a kick right to the face again. And Eva... Again, in the driver's seat of this matchup. And now Eva. What is this? Oh, good. Take her to the top turnbuckle? Yes, she is. Sits her up top. And now. Oh, look at this. Super arm. Excuse me. Super arm drag. And down goes Paige. And Paige needs to find a way to get back in this match. Even Marie. Taking a little breather, but that gives also gives Paige a breather. Oh, oh, looking for something, but jawbreaker by Paige. And now look at this. Oh, a jawbreaker of her own, and down goes Eva. Now cover. Quick cover by Paige. This could be it. Maybe ca getting uh, Eva off guard there. But Eva. Showing, showing really impressive. Impressed me here tonight. And Paige gets fireman's carried. Oh, what, what the hell is this? What the? What? Use some black magic. Oh, man. Use some of that red magic. All red everything. Tagline right here. But, um, yeah, that was, that was something. Eva Marie doesn't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. What the hell kind of glitch was that? Anyway. Apparently, she did that tornado guillotine. Oh, man. Kick right to the chest. And Paige hasn't gone, hasn't gone some offense in a few minutes here. Oh, man. Here we go. Another flatliner. And Eva Marie, it looks like Paige is out here. And Paige, can she come back here? One, two, three. No, pa Eva Marie. Very impressive here tonight, using some glitch skills, and finally putting her away with the second flatliner of the match. And she moves on in the number one contenders tournament for the women's championship. And she did uh, get a huge win over Paige here tonight. Paige, another loss in the book for her. But as we see, the brackets right here, Paige and Eva, Eva. Moves on to the semifinals. Of course, later tonight, we're going to have Aaliyah versus Brie Bella. For not right now, we have Lee Slater. Yes. The greatest man that ever lived. But <laughs> let's uh, get back to earth here. As he Slater coming down to the ring. A former WWE Tag Team Champion. Uh, when he was part of 3MB in the, uh, so I, I, when, when did he get the titles? I believe it was around the Night of Champions era, or Night of Champions era, Night of Champions time in uh, the first season of our universe mode. But Heath Slater is back and he's here at NXT. And I'm getting word now that he has uh, some pretty big competition here tonight. They didn't tell me who it was, but... He just said big competition. So Heath Slater in the ring. Looking to back, get back on his winning ways. Heath Slater, wow. The best wrestler ever. But let's see who is about to face. They only said big competition. Who's it going to be? Oh, man. And here comes one half. Of the NXT Tag Team Champions, it's Big Cass. 
Of course, alongside him is Enzo Amore. go the nxt tag team champions coming down to the ring big cast is in action after uh henzo and cast got a a big big tag team championship retain hmm? championship match they retain the titles at nxt rebel against the lucha dragons and of course next week we have uh, a number one contenders match for those tag team titles as american alpha will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Blake and Murphy. So that's going to be the main event for next week. But uh, already, Big Cass taking Heath Slater to town. No! Heath Slater slips out of it. Heath Slater. Oh, look at this. Picking up Big Cass for the back suplex. Picking up the big man. And Heath Slater might have been hitting the gym. We haven't seen him for probably a good... What, probably seven months? Maybe six, I'm not sure. But uh, nevertheless, he Slater showing off some impressive strength by picking up Big Cass. Oh, man! And now, working over the legs of Big Cass. You want to take out that uh, that big frame. You want to take out the base of uh, his frame, and that's the legs. And oh, not just a kick right to the shoulder. Now Slater working over the back. Of Big Cass. And Big Cass is in trouble early. But here we go. Big Cass. I'm going to take him up. What is this? And, oh man, a back body drop. A stalling one. And, oh, uh, no, Big Cass just got a one count. He's Slater. Obviously the greatest tag team champion that ever we've ever had here in NXT. Or, uh, WWE Universe Mode. And, uh, he won it alongside Drew McIntyre. They held it for a good one month. One or two months. And, uh, man, they were a force to be reckoned with. But a uh, big cast. Oh, looking for something, but Heath Slater slipped out of it. Obviously, Enzo Amore out talking trash. Another back suplex. Very nice by Heath Slater. Oh, and now Slater is taken down. And here we go. Oh! Just a reverse DDT into a backbreaker. That must hurt. Oh! Now kick right to the side of the head. And now Big Cass. Looking for something. Dropping the leg. And he's still withering in pain. Is he going to cover? One. Two. And oh man, that was close. Off of the leg drop, but... He Slater found found a way. Obviously, he won't go down with a simple leg drop. He is too great for that. But uh, a neck wrencher there by Big Cass. Now this, oh, and oh man, just right to the rib cage of He Slater. Now he's gonna pick him up. Big Cass, oh, stalled a little bit, and He Slater's gonna take advantage now with a, a headlock. Gonna try to slow the pace. And uh, yeah, it's not gonna work against uh, a big man like Big Cass. And oh, he missed the big boot there. Looking for that, that devastating big boot. And oh, Heath Slayer takes advantage with a Russian leg sweep. Now Slater. Oh, looking for something, but no. And now Slater. And gets caught. Now we're going to know the legs, Big Cass is. And Slater. Oh, look at this. And a sidewalk slam by Big Cass. And it looks like he, the, the end might be near. Just playing with Heath Slater now. 
Guys, now look at this. And oh, there's the big boot. And uh, you can, uh, you gotta count to three, two, and three. Whoa, that was extremely close. But the ref says that he Slater kicked out at two. But that's no problems for for a big cast here. As he's gonna pick up Heath Slater and hit the East River Crossing. Man, the impact. And one, two, and now it is a three count. And the winner of the match is Big Cass. There's your winner. Another big win for Big Cass. Enzo Mori at ringside. But like I said before, next week's main event is going to be a number one contendership match for the NXT Tag Team Championships. It's going to be Blake and Murphy going against American Alpha. What a match that's going to be. But right now we have another NXT Women's Championship number one contenders tournament quarterfinals matchup. Here we go. Brie Bella coming down the ring. And ever since losing the championship at WrestleMania, Sorry, no, that's wrong. Ever since losing the championship at uh, TLC? Man, my memory is just going to shit nowadays. I was either TLC or Royal Rumble. She lost the championship to Emma, and ever since then, she's been on a, on a mission to get back into the title scene, and tonight is that night. She gets her chance to get back into the title scene, but she has to go against a little firecracker that is Aaliyah. Of course, Aaliyah showing big things against her match against Shasha Banks. Going into NXT Arrival. She did not win that matchup, but uh, she impressed William Regal enough that she got an NXT contract. So very good for her. And now she's in this tournament, and she could uh, definitely open some eyes. Oh, actually open more eyes than she did a few weeks back. But here we go, Aaliyah. Now coming down to the ring, and we're getting ready. Here we go. This match is about to start. Brie Bella and Aaliyah. So here we go. Brie Bella, Aaliyah, another quarterfinals matchup. Here we go. The bell is rung, and a collar number tie-up to start off the match. And Aaliyah, very impressive in her first match. Let's see if she tops that. It'll be very hard to do that, but let's see if she tops it here in her second match in her NXT career. And Brie Bella obviously has to be on alert, has to be on her toes this whole match. She cannot take Aaliyah lightly. It's a big knee right to the face. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, there's a slap right to the face again. And Aaliyah just, uh, there's no bullshit with her. She is right in your face. And, oh, just absolutely dangerous for her small size. And uh, every woman has to be put on notice. Aaliyah will not stop. Will go right through you. And she will do anything in the matchup to get the win. She will put her body on the line. If you guys remember uh, with the Sasha Banks match, she actually speared Sasha Banks through the barricade at ringside. And that was absolutely unbelievable. In her first match here, she does something like that. You know she means all business. She wants that NXT Women's Championship. But Brie Bella is hard coming in. She's a former Divas Champion. And she will not go lightly. Now into the ropes goes Aaliyah. Big punch by Brie Bella now. Brie Bella going to take her for a snap and a suplex. And takes down Aaliyah. And Brie gets her with a drop kick. Now building momentum is Brie Bella. No, clubbing blow right to the back. And drops her with a reverse DDT. Obviously, Nikki Bella has to be looking exactly at this specific match here tonight. Obviously, like I said, she watches every, every women's match here in NXT to scout, to scout the talent and scout her future would-be opponents in uh, the, this tournament here. And, of course, she wants to look at her sister. She wants to scout her sister. She's known her all her life, but you never know. Brie Bella could be holding something back, and she has to do her homework. 
for the Leah. Now working over Brie Bella. A hard knife edge chop. And down goes Brie. And oh man, what a kick. Right to the chest. And now, look at this. Now Brie Bella back to her feet. And a oh, drop kick to the face of Aaliyah. And I think, I think Brie Bella needs to turn it up to 11 in this match if she has any hope in defeating Aaliyah here tonight. Aaliyah just a, the absolute firecracker. She does not stop. She's all, she's all or all or nothing in these matches here. I mean, maybe maybe the first match was just a fluke. Maybe the first match was just showing like what she only has in store. That's the max she can go. But I don't think that's true. I think that's just the tip of the iceberg with Aaliyah. She can she can definitely take uh, Nikki Bella to the limit. But she has to work up the mountain to get there too. No. And Brie Bella again getting out too, but man, the knee right to the back of the head. Oh, and here we go. Aaliyah drops her with the leg. Kind of like a reverse DDT leg drop thingy. Two. And oh man, that was close. And Aaliyah almost moved on. And it'd be quite fitting. If Aaliyah moves on to face Eva Marie uh, in the semifinals, two women that are absolutely impressive, impresses me, impresses the WWE Universe, impresses William Regal, and that match would be awesome. Brie Bella obviously has a mission, and that's to get the Women's Championship back on her shoulders. And she has no problem going right through Aaliyah, going through Eva, and going through her own sister to do so. But uh, here we go. On the outside now. Into the barricade. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. Aaliyah, no. Not again. It's a spear. Again through the barricade. And Brie Bella, her body crashes. She's trying to recover, but she just falls down in a heap. And Aaliyah gets back into the ring. Is she going to win by count out? She could definitely win by count out. As, uh, as the, 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 an A count. And a nine count, but Leah goes back to the outside. She could have moved on to the tournament, but I think she wants to win by either pinfall or submission. And that's very respectable of her. But uh, maybe she should have, should have just gone for the count out victory. I'm not sure. Oh. Now Brie Bella finally knows where she's at. I'm gonna attack Aaliyah with a Northern Light suplex on the outside. And man, I don't know how Brie Bella is in control this far into the matchup after that spear. But now, both women get back into the ring. An hour shot by, by Aaliyah. And oh man, what an elbow. And down again goes Bree. And just working over the head, just bouncing Brie Bella's head off the mat. Nothing pretty about that, but it works. Now into the corner goes Bree. Let's see what happens here. Bree up top now. And look at this. Aaliyah now going to take her down with a back suplex. And Brie Bella folds in half. And now Aaliyah's not done going up to the legs now. And oh, now just a uh, snapmare takes her down. And gonna, got a headlock here. Trying to... Trying to get some breath back in her system here. As these these women have gone full throttle ever since the beginning of this matchup. Of course, that spear through the barricade obviously took a lot out of both of these women. So it looks like Aaliyah is trying to get some uh, some uh, some momentum back. Some uh, oh, some stamina. And now just takes down Brie Bella. And uh, no, Brie Bella gets back into this match. A huge haymaker there. And now a snapmare. And now a side headlock of her own. And Brie Bell just cranking at it. Of course, she's trying to get some stamina back too. She's trying to get some probably feeling back in her body after that spear. But Aaliyah now just flipping Brie Bella over. And oh, just grabs the hair and tosses her aside. 
Of course, like I said, she'll do anything in these matches to get a win. And like a new woman, a new new woman like her. Oh! Bella Buster! And Brie Bella could be moving on! Cover one! Two! And no! Again, Aaliyah. Not again, but Aaliyah kicks out at two. And this match has been absolutely great. These two women leaving it all inside the ring. And oh! And now Brie. Gonna flip Aaliyah over. She's not done with her. Drops the leg. And here we go as we see Brie Bella picking, picking Aaliyah back to her feet. What is this? Brie Bella. And look at this. Now gonna put Aaliyah into the tree of woe. And oh, just a kick right to the chest. Now just choking her out with her boot. And it seems Brie Bella's a little, little frustrated after not, after not putting her away with that Bella Buster. Now she's going to try once again. Not hooking, not hooking the leg though, too. And that might have been a downfall. Just the frustration taking over. Not thinking clearly and not hooking that leg. If she did, she might have gotten the three count. But Aaliyah back to her feet. And no, gets taken down again with a kick. Right to the back off the snap mare. And here we go. No! Aaliyah pushes Brie Bella aside. Gets back to her feet. And oh man, dropped the leg! She may have actually hit her with the knee. I'm not sure. But that did some damage. One, two, three, that's it! She might have knocked out Brie Bella. But nevertheless, Aaliyah gets a huge win. The first win of her NXT career. And she moves on in the NXT Championship Tourney and Number One Contenders, whatever, whatever. In the in the Number One Contendership Tourney. And man, what a huge win. She's absolutely excited. But man, here we go. Look at the card now. The semifinals are now upon us. It's Natalia versus Naomi and Aaliyah versus Eva. Next week, these all these four women will battle to see who goes into the finals. But guys. Are you ready for the main event? It's the NXT Championship match. Kevin Owens defends his title against Hideo Itami. Let's get to it. And here we go. Are you guys ready? I am certainly ready. An NXT Championship match on NXT only one other time that's happened that's the very first episode of NXT where Kevin Owens, Hideo Itami, RVD and Baron Corbin all did battle in a fatal four-way match to determine the first ever NXT champion Hideo Itami would roll the dice and got the win and would become the first ever NXT champion defeating Baron Corbin in that matchup and hit and uh, Kevin Owens of course would challenge Hideo with Tommy and NXT arrival and the rest is history as Kevin Owens is your NXT champion but here we go Hideo Tommy in the ring awaiting the NXT champion and here he comes There he is, Kevin Owens. The NXT champion. I mean, he told us what he was going to do in NXT Arrival, and he did just that. He said he was going to capture the NXT championship. He said he wanted to become the American legend, the Canadian legend, if you will. And he did just that, capturing the NXT championship. And, uh... Hideo Tommy, very unlucky. His very first defense as champion was the one that got him. And Kevin Owens was the better man on that occasion. But will he be on this occasion? Will we have to wait and see? And there he is, holding up the gold. Will that be the last time that Kevin Owens ever sees that in his hands? Ever sees it that up close? We will find out in mere moments. 
But here we go. And it's all for that. The NXT Championship. This match is going to be amazing. Hideo Itami, Kevin Owens for that championship right there. The challenger, Hideo Itami. The champion, Kevin Owens. And the bell has rung. Let's get to it. Oh, Yoshi Tonic to start off the matchup. And Kevin Owens, there's no uh, wrestling bullshit here. He wants to get through this match as fast as possible. And uh, can you blame him? He's got put into this match right after he wins the championship. And uh, against the man that he won it from, he wants to finish this off quickly. As uh, Hideo Tommy just getting absolutely pulverized here. But, uh, oh, now Hideo Tommy coming back. And now Hideo Tommy. Now going to Irish whip Kevin Owens. Oh, look for a clothesline. May have nicked him. But he didn't get that full, full on clothesline. Now look at this. Kevin Owens looking for so oh, German suplex, but no. Hideo Tommy would reverse into an arm drag. And now, oh, look at this. Dragon screw leg whip. And uh, already it looks like Hideo Tommy is uh, doing a little bit better than he did at XT Rival. Obviously, Kevin Owens had a plan going into. NXT around that work over the neck of Hideo Itami. Will he do the same thing right here and right now? Does he have a game plan? Will he go after the neck again? Well, does he have another plan? Go after the legs, go after the arm. Not sure. Let's see here. As we see a big suplex. Looks like the half Nelson. And uh, Kevin Owens is back in control. Now he's going to wrench the neck of Hideo Itami. And of course, the smart crowd here tonight, the smarky crowd, cheering Kevin Owens too. No. I think that may have just been a one count, but nevertheless, Hideo Tommy gets out of it and now just blocks that knee. Now Snapmare takes down Kevin Owens. And now a headlock here. And now just trying to ground Kevin Owens, but Kevin Owens, he's... One of the smartest people in that ring. He knows where he's at at all times and gets out of it. And now Kevin into the ropes goes to Deo. And oh man. It's match spills to the outside and we saw this coming. These guys absolutely hate each other. And uh, this match has been... I mean we, we all saw this match getting out of hand quickly. And uh, looking for something, but Hideo Tommy, low oh, man, what a knee right to the face. And now Kevin Owens reverses here. Oh, look at this. And, oh, right to the knee. Oh, and here we go. Big boy Sentine. Right on the outside as well, so even more damage to the challenger. And now Kevin Owens just pandering to the crowd. Waiting for Hideo Tommy to get back in the ring. And now Hideo Tommy's going to the top rope. But again, Kevin Owens saw it coming. He looks to be one step ahead of Hideo Tommy right now. And oh man, Green Bay plunge. And look at this. Kevin Owens. Oh man, what a tope. Eddie Guerrero style. But uh, Hideo Tommy back to his seat. Hits a claw uh, drop kick. And uh, Hideo Tommy gets Kevin Owens onto the, onto the mat there. Trying to keep him there, but it's not going to happen. Here's Hideo. Now brings him to the, to the uh, ropes here. Uh, Irish trip him. And out oh, down goes the referee. Big power slam. Wow, we'll let that impact with the, the power slam. Absolutely devastating. Now, working over the legs of Kevin Owens. And Hideo Tommy can smell that championship coming back to him. What is this? And, oh, a Falcon Arrow. Now cover. One, two, and no. No. 
Now just working over the head with those oh vicious elbow strikes. Right to the top of the head. To the noggin, to the forehead. And now into the, the turnbuckle goes Kevin Owens. No! Kevin Owens coming back. Oh, another big power slam! And now, look at this. Hideo Tommy with a twirling back suplex. And now going to go up to the top rope here. He might be looking for the double stomp. No, go over the elbow drop and missed. Kevin Owens moves out of the way. Quick cover. Two. And, oh, man, that was close. Now Kevin Owens. Oh, looking for something, but this match spills out to the outside once again. Now Kevin Owens, Deo Tommy again on the outside doing battle. Oh, another knee. No. Oh. oh, here we go with the Hurricane Aura head scissors takedown. And now, Deo Tommy on the outside. But now he's going to pump up here. No. Gets taken down. And now Kevin Owens going for a single leg Boston Crab. But nevertheless, guys, we have to take a commercial break. And next day we'll return after this message. And guys, do not miss Money in the Bank. The very next pay-per-view in our WWE Universe mode. It will be a huge one. So hit that subscribe button now. And do not miss it when it comes out. We are back here in NXT. NXT Championship match happening right here, right now as Kevin Owens pummeling Hideo Taimu with those uh, those fists there. NXT Championship rematch from NXT Arrival. Here we go. And Kevin Owens with, oh man, with the, the package power bomb side slam thing. And now cover. One, two, and oh man. Again, very close, but Hideo slips out. And oh, how, what the hell? And a uh, headbutt now just throws him right inside the ring. And uh, Kevin Owens, oh, wait a minute, what the hell is this? Kevin Owens! Oh, man! Bringing out all the stops here tonight, bringing out all the tricks. And what a tope by, uh, by Kevin Owens. And that might be it for Hideo Tommy, but no, he's getting back to his feet. Man, what a move by... What a dive by uh, Kevin Owens. And Kevin Owens. Oh. Gets reversed there. Hideo Tommy. No. Looking for something with a back body drop. And oh. Elbow right to the midsection. Hideo Tommy is not out of this match just yet. And oh here we go. Oh. Here comes the combination. We all know and love from Hideo Tommy. The kicks right to the chest. And that kick right to the midsection. Cover right in the middle of the ring. One. Two, and, oh man, Hideo Tommy was almost a two-time NXT champion. And look at this, Kevin Owens, now to wherewithal to bring Hideo Tommy to the turnbuckle. Now, going to sit him up top. And Kevin, look at this, he's going to go for another one? That he is, another Green Bay Plunge! Hey, Dave, tell me, what is he gonna do? No, man, what the hell? A moonsault! From the top rope! Springboard moonsault! Absolutely unbelievable! And Kevin Owens is showing exactly why he is the NXT Champion! Now, kick right to the face of Hideo Tommy. He wants to put the challenger away right here, right now. Into the ropes go or into the turnbuckle goes Hideo Itami. Big clothesline. And just there's no choice but Hideo Itami just to fall to the ground. Fall to the mat. And a quick cover. Just I don't think that's gonna end the match. Hideo Itami kicking out, but that's exactly what Kevin Owens wanted. He wants to he wants to have Kevin or Hideo Itami exert energy. And now it's side headlock. The wrestling strats by Kevin Owens. And 
And now. Now look at this. Oh. Hideo Tommy gets out of it. Hideo Tommy still in this match. Now into. Oh. The turnbuckle goes. Uh, Kevin Owens. And now. Oh look at this. Hideo Tommy. Oh. Oh here we go. Hideo Tommy. With the German suplex from the top turnbuckle. And that could be it. Could Hideo Tommy be NXT champion too? No. And Kevin Owens somehow regained consciousness after that vicious German suplex. And look at this. Hideo Tommy gets caught with the Michinoku driver. Oh, and grabs the leg. Could this be it? Cooks the leg. Two. Three. Yes, that's it. Oh, man. Looks like Kevin Owens did enough damage to Hideo Itami to get that win. And still, your NXT champion is Kevin Owens. What a hard-fought match from Kevin Owens. And uh, what the hell is this? Whose music is, who's, whose music is this? Who could this be? Oh, man! It's Samoa Joe! Samoa Joe has debuted in NXT! And he's made his intentions clear. He's coming right after Kevin Owens. Oh, man, could you imagine Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe for the NXT Championship? I still can't believe it's Samoa Joe! is here in NXT! What an acquisition for NXT, Samoa Joe! And Samoa Joe's in the ring. Kevin Owens, what's he gonna do? Oh, he's gonna meet him inside the ring. Kevin Owens, face to face with Samoa Joe. The ref trying to step in between them. I don't care, let them fight. Kevin Owens, oh, here we go, here we go. Kevin Owens, no. The ref's still trying to get in between them. and doesn't want to fight. And look at this. Kevin Owens backing down from Samoa Joe. The champion kneeling down. And that's going to tuck his tail between his legs and leave the arena. But, oh, man. I can't believe it. Samoa Joe has debuted in NXT. And I can't wait what this means. Samoa Joe, Kevin Owens. Well, guys, thank you for joining me here on NXT, and I'll see you on SmackDown.